Hi guys, welcome to this SolidWorks tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add um, property data to toolbox parts. So in this case, I'm actually going to add some materials to existing toolbox parts. So to start off with, uh, I need to open up the toolbox configurator. So that can be done at the top right of the task plane, on the, or you can go to system options, and then down the left hand side, if you go down to whole wizard slash toolbox, select that and then configure, which is configuring the toolbox. And above that, it just shows the, the location of the toolbox. So you click on configure, and that should open up this. And then you get a few options down here. And the one we want to select is customize your hardware. So it's showing all the standards at the moment activated. So I'm just going to deactivate all of these to speed loading up. And also just simplifies what data I've got available and I want to base my toolbox off the ISO standard so I'm just going to make a copy of that toolbox and paste it with it pasted I'm now going to rename it so I'm just going to select it hit F2 on the keyboard and I'm going to rename it my toolbox Now I'm just going to click down on the bottom here. And now we've got this option down here, custom properties. I'm just going to click on that little tab, add new custom property, property name. And in there I'm going to add material. And I could either add it as a text box or I can add it as a list. And there's an option there linked to SolidWorks material, which is selected. And then from there, from the drop down, I can select from my favorites. So I'm going to select brass and now I'm just going to add the value rename brass and I'll add copper as a second one and just enter the value copper. I'll click OK and then you can see it's been added down the bottom to the custom properties and I want to add it to uh, my bolts. So I've gone into my bolt selection and I'm going to just uh, look inside here so you can see all the metadata, all the different types. So I'm just going to go back to my bolts. And now I'll tick the custom property. As you can see, I, I can get an option for a default, which is on brass. And there you go, so it's applied. So what I'm going to do now is I'll save my changes to my toolbox. That's going to retain all those data. So it's going to retain that I've unselected all those unwanted standards and my custom property. And I can click OK to that. And I can open my toolbox up by my task plane. Find the location of the, my bolts. And I'll create a new assembly. cancel that off and I'll drag a bolt in and as you can see down on the left hand side I've got the option here and it's showing my brass or copper from my material so that's how you add custom properties to your toolbox parts I hope you found this YouTube video useful please like and subscribe thanks a lot